up YouTube welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel hey girl hey in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make any wig glueless and I literally mean any wig as long as it has adjustable straps you can make it glueless and even if it doesn't they sell them in stores or they sell them online you can go get you one install it and make your wig glueless it's so simple all you need is got to be freeze blast and a blow dryer if you have that then you can make your wig glueless so um, i'm going to give you guys a little bit of details about the hair and the hair is from julia's hair it is their 12 inch deep wave wig i'm not sure if this is a bob or not if it is i'll you guys will see it in the um description i'll link it down in the description so it didn't take me long at all it was like a 30 minute install so if you need something like quick to do to your hair and you don't have time to like completely install your wig then sis this video is for you okay so if you want to see how you can make any wig glueless then just keep on watching so the first thing you want to do is adjust the wig and make sure that it's tight enough to where it isn't sliding everywhere and then i just took some foundation and put it on the lace and the cap to mimic my scalp <music> After the foundation is applied, I'm just going to pull out the hairs that I'm going to use for my baby hair so that they don't get glued down. And after I do that, I'm just going to go in with my Got To Be Freeze Blast spray and I'm going to spray the entire hairline. But you want to do it in sections and blow dry it as you go. And I did each section at least twice before I moved on to the next one. Before I glued the wig down, I forgot to cut the sides of the lace, so that's just what you see me doing now. Now using the zigzag cutting method, I'm just going in with my scissors and I'm making sections so it's easier for me to cut the lace. And then I'm going to go in with more Got To Be Freeze Blast and glue down on the spots that lifted when I was cutting the lace.
So now I'm taking my elastic band, I just tied that down over my hairline and I let it sit for about two to three minutes because it doesn't take that long for it to dry. And then I'm going to go in and take out my baby hairs and they did get a little bit stuck when I tied it down because I sprayed the Gatsby Freeze Flags over them without taking them out again. But um, after I take them out, I'm just going to go in and cut them very short because I like a natural look. And if you need help doing your baby hairs, I do recommend Keisha Jabri's video because her video literally helped me do my baby hairs. So yeah, go check her video out. So after my baby hair was complete and I got them to how I like them, I went in with a spray bottle and I just sprayed that all throughout my hair and then I went in with some Eco Styler Gel and I used the same design foam that I use on my baby hairs and I also put that all throughout my hair and I just brushed it in to make the curl pattern pop and then I went in with some Got To Be Freeze Blast and I sprayed that on the top of my hair so that it laid down as flat as possible.
have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it was very helpful for you because let me tell you when i first found out this technique i it was very helpful to me okay now i'm probably going to make every wig after this one glueless so if you found this video helpful then leave a like down below and leave some comments and subscribe for me and be sure to follow me on all my social medias which will also be down below in the description and i'll see you guys in my next video bye